guys, it's everyone's favorite semi-aquatic mammal, Chaos Otter. And this is our reaction to the new Pokemon that was released probably three hours ago. Actually, well, it's not really a reaction. It's more of a discussion because I've already seen the little, the little clip. But I wanted to talk about it because I know we missed the last little batch of information. So I wanted to talk about this to make sure we at least got some Sun and Moon information out to you guys. I know people asked for it. It wasn't my fault that it didn't go out. It was claimed. I talk about it in another video. But that's besides the point. That's neither here nor there. Because today we're here to talk about a little Salandit. Is that how you say it? Oh my gosh, look at it, guys. Look how cute it is. It's a little salamander and I want it. I don't think I'm going to be able to use it for my Litten playthrough. But I'm telling you guys, for my freaking Rowlet playthrough, this little kid, this little kid, this little guy's going on the team. All right, let's watch the video. I'm excited. I've already seen it, and I'm so excited. I thought it was fire when I first saw it, and then it said poison. I was like, is it just poison? Can I use it during my Litten playthrough? And then poison fire. So, rip me. Oh, well. Can poison all Pokemon types, which is pretty neat. If I do say so myself, and I say so. Zubat is poisoned. Like, that's really cool. So, the, the ability Corrosion allows you to poison types that can't usually be poisoned. Like, poison types or steel types. Which is broken. If this thing evolves, this is going to be your freaking steel type check. Send this thing out against a Solgaleo. Don't send it out against a Solgaleo. Do you see these attacks? Okay, hold on. Hold on one second. What are these attacks? I'm assuming they're a new fire and a new poison type attack. I'm going to play it one more time. So it uses toxic. That's fine. And then it uses this. What, whatever that is. Which is pretty freaking sick. If I do say so myself. And then look at this. I want this game. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah. So that's, that's that part. And then what else do we know? It's the toxic lizard Pokemon. It's poison fire. I want to use this thing. <sighs> hmm. I might have to do my first LP with Rowlet instead of Litten. I wanted to do it with Litten, but I really want to sing on the team. And I want you guys to see what it can do. Because that ability, that disability is cool, and the freaking attack is cool, and this thing is so little. And look how it sits. It just sits. You would think it would like sit like this the way Sandile does, but no, it's, it just sits up. Looking at you. Anyway, Salandits emit top. Salandits? But okay, you pronounce Salamander. Salandits emit toxic gas together with flames from the base of its tail. Yo. The poisonous gas has a sweet smell, and anyone who annoyingly brews it in will become dizzy. Salandit is not a very powerful Pokemon, but its cunning nature allows it to battle fiercely, throwing its opponents off balance. Yo. That's sick. I went too far down. Salandit females not only release toxic gas, they can also emit pheromones that attract males of all species. Ew. Including Pokemon and humans. Ew. Inhaling these pheromones may cause upon us to be controlled by Salandit's will. Yo, what if it evolves into a poison psychic type? The possibilities. Salandit has the corrosion ability, a new ability that no other Pokemon has possessed before. With the corrosion ability, it becomes possible to inflict the poison status condition even on steel and poison type Pokemon. That's pretty neat. I'm actually going to go back to Pokemon and see if we can, if there's anything else that we really need to talk about. I mean, these are the new Pokemon. All the, all the new ones, all the new ones. But yeah, so I think that's going to be all that we have for Salandit today. I'm going to get up out of here. Click the like if you're hyped. Subscribe if I made you chuckle. And remember, chaos is life, chaos is love. Honor out.